This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. When we go to create a virtual machine or migrate a virtual machine, Virtual Machine Manager will recommend certain hosts to put that virtual machine on, and it'll give it a star rating. Let's take a look at that. I'm just going to right-click on a virtual machine, go to Migrate Virtual Machine, and you can see the ratings come up. So I get 4.5 stars for PHX Hyper-V02 and 4.5 for the current host that it's on. And it uses some different factors in order to give us this rating and recommendation on which host to put this virtual machine on. One of it is the expected utilization. We looked at that earlier. How much free resources a host has. So if a, one host is doesn't have much memory left and another host does, it's going to most likely recommend the host that has more memory available. And we can see here if there are any warnings. And we go down here to a rating explanation if there are any warnings or errors, reasons why we can't or maybe shouldn't put a virtual machine on a specific host. So another way it determines whether or not a virtual machine should be put on a specific host and determines the rating is through placement rules that we can actually create. So let's cancel out and we're going to put these placement rules on a host group. So I'm going to right click on my host group and go to properties. Let's go to placement rules. And by default the host group is going to inherit the placement rules from the parent. So I can configure placement rules on my all hosts and then my development host group and production host group will inherit those properties or placement rules. If we want to set placement rules specifically on a host group, we can uncheck this box to use the placement settings from the parent host group. In order to use placement rules, we're going to use custom properties. So let's take a look at those custom properties. I'm going to go to manage custom properties. There are all sorts of different custom properties for uh, different object types. So we're looking at host group right now. There's host, uh, virtual machine, virtual machine template, host cluster, host group. So let's go ahead and create a new property. I'm going to call this one is QA. So QA generally is quality assurance. It's a specific department or a specific group that makes sure a product works right before it goes into production. And maybe I have some virtual machines that I want to be on my hosts that are in my production cluster. But I only want to limit those virtual machines to be on a specific host or a specific set of hosts. We can use placement rules to make that happen. So let's say on PHX Hyper-V01 is the only host I want virtual machines that are for QA to be on. So is QA, and I'll, in a description I'll put uh, this setting is for... VMs and the hosts they should be on for QA. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And we've got object type host selected. I'm going to go ahead and add. And I'm also going to make this a setting or a custom property for virtual machines and virtual machine templates. So let's go ahead and click OK. And click OK again. Now let's go to our host here, PHX Hyper-V. This is the one that we want to be for our QA virtual machines, or at least to be able to have QA virtual machines on them. So let's go down to Custom Properties. We can see there's our new custom property. Is QA, so I'm going to put Yes here. So this is just a naming convention I'm going to come up with. And we can have all different reasons. Uh, maybe one is uh, for certain types of virtual machines, maybe some are for certain departments, whatever we'd like. That's why it's kind of nice we get these custom properties that we can create. And we can also use the default ones, custom one, custom two, things like that. But sometimes creating our own is a bit more descriptive. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now let's say for uh, Web Server 03, let's say this one is a QA virtual machine. So we'll go up to custom properties here. Is QA, I'm going to put yes also. So now we've got our custom properties set and we can create a placement rule for that custom property. Now that we've created our custom property, let's go ahead and create our placement rule. I'm going to right click on my host group, go to properties, 
Go to Placement Rules, and I've already unchecked the Use the Placement Settings from the Parent Host Group. Let's click Add. Let's select our new custom property that we created, is QA. Now we have a requirement. So the virtual machine must match the host, or it should mas match the host, or must not match host, or should not. So must means it has to. It's not, the virtual machine isn't going to be able to go to a host where this property doesn't match. Should means in the placement, when we get that star rating, we'll get a warning that says, you know, hey, you can move it to this host, but you get this warning that this property doesn't match. So it makes it possible. This one makes it not possible. And then we have scenarios where we don't want it to match. So maybe we've marked certain uh, hosts or created custom property that says, uh, you know, production only. And then if a virtual machine in that uh, production only custom property doesn't match and say yes or something like that, then it can't be put on that host. So two different ways of doing it. We're doing, let's do a must match the host. So click OK. And you can see it blocks deployment if it doesn't match. So I'll click OK. Now let's go up to Web Server 03 and migrate our virtual machine. And we can see the current host has no stars. And we get a rating explanation down here. The value of the custom property is QA doesn't match. So it was only able to be on this host because that's where it was before we created the placement rule. But now you can see the only one I can migrate it to is PHX Hyper-V01. So I can go ahead and migrate it. And it's complete. If I tried to migrate it back, let's go back to Migrate Virtual Machine. And you can see... I, again, I'm not able to migrate it. If I tried to and click Next, I'd actually get an error. If we used uh, Virtual Machine Should Match in our placement rule, then it would allow me to migrate it, but it would give me a warning here. And this works really well with dynamic optimization that we're going to look at next.